This is our farewell sunset for Earthy and I on the luscious, magnificent island of Rhodes on Greece after 12 mystical days here off season mid-November as my inner goddess and I lounge around the writing table on the third floor balcony of Megali's pension within the crusader castle of the old town in Rhodes. Wow, flamboyant sunset. Um, as goddess Earth and I flash back on our stay here. Reminds me this atmosphere of pure crystal white LSD straight from the lab. Fabulous. Ah, otherworldly. Mm. Remembrances Flew from San Francisco into Munich. <laughs> Lounged in the transit lounge to save money and had 17 free cappuccinos of those trendy German cappuccino machines. Yeah, major highlight. <laughs> Next morning, Olympia Airlines to Athens and on to Rhodos. Um, November 16th, find Mike's pension in the old town. Kindred spirit, we're both 67. And he's the last surviving hippie on the island. So fortunate to have found his place. Then it's Monday morning. <laughs> uh, off to the cave for the first time in 30 years. Where a goddess comes out of the closet of the subtle plane of her archetypical plane of guides and bikinis and you know, mythological fairy creatures. Yeah, she comes out onto the earth her, itself for the first time. Wow. wow. Well, you know, a few days later, we walk around the moat. We discover the moat <laughs> around the old Crusader castle walls. Now it's a, just the most delightful path to to play around and photograph well morning rain sets in uh, rest up for our flight to india where i'll be interviewing the india's most famous expatriate eight finger eddie about the hippie scene in Goa and Kathmandu. uh read up uh yeah we're flying from athens to abu dhabi on Gulf Air and from Abu Dhabi uh, carrying on to Bombay and after that Bali San Francisco this is an around the world adventure mm -hmm. well yesterday um, posted off the research we did on uh, Persephone and the um, the Oracle of Delphi on drugs what was in that drug? Yeah, we found out. Huh? And now it, it we're right here and now. Our final sunset in the Greek islands. And uh, silently, Goddess Earthy and I ponder the Turkish mountains. We're just looking at them. Uh, and we feel somewhat sad that if we innocently smoked a bowl of hashish uh, to spice up the sunset, the ghosts of those crusaders would howl in fear. <laughs> and the Greek police would imprison us <sighs> like dangerous deceased dogs that need to be locked up in a cage. <laughs> uh yeah but you know if if we stick to you know sipping this tumbler of premium ooza 
we remain safe and even more serenely invisible. Hmm. You know what? Let me just be upfront about this. This is what this whole book, The Hippie History of Hashish, is about. Why this silly drama? You know, you sip a ouzo here, 12 kilometers over in Turkey. Uh, they prefer smoking hookahs of hashish. Why this drama? Uh, extreme, anachronistic culture clash, like a Teutonic plate grinding with mutual prejudices for the last 1,000 years. How did this happen? And how do we get out of this man-made bind, you know, this double bind we put ourselves in, you know? Yeah, and we're looking at Turkey. It's like a lousy 12 kilometers across the water. In fact, Rhodes is Turkey. It's just water between. I mean, we're on the same earth. Yeah, earth you and I reflect about alcohol, hashish, on this mellow autumn evening. Hmm. The Crusader Castle. <laughs> <clears throat> We gaze across the Mediterranean, the Aegean, to the Turkish coast, hmm. wishing we were over there, smoking a hubble bubble, <laughs> you know, a bubbler of hashish. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> time to heal. The centuries-old cultural wound between Europe and Asia, between Greece, Rhodos, Styroli in Ela, and Turkey. Uh, Spliftonian underground subterranean sleuths need to like get it going a little bit, you know? Band together, share some, some notes, and investigate the history of hashish for the last 1,000 years. 